Here is my 3D printed rover making its first test runs. In this video, we'll explore how the rover was built, including the components and electronics used. It's still in the early stages, but it can drive straight and turn, so there's already something to test. Let's start by examining the basic structure of the rover. The frame measures 50 centimeters wide and 75 centimeters long. It's constructed using uniform components throughout. The corner connectors have three, four, or five outlets, allowing them to be attached to different numbers of longitudinal connectors. The parts can be easily snapped together and secured in place, enabling the size of the frame to be adjusted as needed. The rover's legs use the same snap-together system. However, the front axle splits into two wheels with a joint connector in the middle. Ball bearings are integrated into the 3D printed parts to minimize friction. The wheels are connected to a 1 to 16 planetary gear system powered by a NEMA 17 motor. These are linked to the electronics, which we will review shortly. At the front of the rover, the first two axes of a robotic arm are already installed, with the frame providing a suitable mounting point for this feature. Now, let's examine the electronics, which will be organized later. On the front right, there are three motor encoders for the drive, while the left side features three additional encoders for the other motors. On the rear right, you will find more motor encoders for the robotic arm. In total, there are 13 encoders for all the motors, connected to a Raspberry Pi and a power supply located in the center of the rover. I2C connectors for the robotic arm's magnetic encoders have already been prepared. Now, let's turn on the rover and conduct the first test drives. For the initial test, I will let the rover drive straight ahead. To prevent overloading the gears, the motor control currently has three virtual gears, allowing the rover to start slowly and slow down gradually. If you're interested in software for robots and motor control, please leave a comment. One of the last features the rover can perform is turning in place, enabling it to adjust its course if necessary. In the future, the robotic arm will be installed alongside cameras and sensors, bringing the rover closer to full autonomy. If you don't want to miss any updates on this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.